As a matter of fact, uh, Sister Khadija, when she asked about the ayah which says, لا تزر وزرة وزر أخرى ولا تزر وزرة وزر أخرى ألا تزر وزرة وزر أخرى The references of uh, Surah uh, Fatir ولا تزر وزرة وزر أخرى وإن تدعو مثقلة إلى حملها And the other ayah, Surah Al-Najm ألا تزر وزرة وزر أخرى uh, the two references, they confirm the meaning that no bearer of a sin shall bear the sin of another. Which means everyone will be responsible for their own doings. And the wizard refers to the bad deeds, to the heavy burden of the bad deeds. So no bearer of a sin will bear the sin of another. No one would accept to be responsible for the sins of others. But a person who was the cause for the sin, even indirectly, he shares the sin and the burden of the sin, even if he inspired 10, 20, 1,000, 10,000 people, like somebody shared a clip of nudity or a porn movie, so when people, one or two or ten people happen to watch it, those ten people who watched what is forbidden are blameworthy. So they bear their sins. And the person who facilitated that and made it feasible for them by sharing it will bear his own sin and the sin or a similar sin for each one of them who have committed the sin. Why? Because he facilitated that. He inspired them. He guided them to the evil, okay? And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in the hadith, every one of you is a guardian and everyone will be asked for those who are under his guardianship. This hadith is such a powerful hadith. It's a sound hadith. What happens is if I am a father and uh, somebody who have children, he's Muslim, his wife is Muslim, and his children do not pray. You ask them, why don't you pray? I have asked many Muslims who do not pray. And the answer I heard was always, well, my dad never taught me to pray. My parents never taught me how to pray. This guy who was in Mecca, born and raised in Mecca, he doesn't pray. He never performed a single hajj, not a single umrah. And he shocked me, the cab driver, when he said that he's a grown up in his 20s. And he said that, you know, man, I never, I've never set a foot in the haram. So I asked him, why not? You, you, you're crazy. We're coming from, you know, the other end of the world. And we paid thousands of dollars to come to visit once. And you're very lucky you're born. He said, my father never took me to the haram. So his father is blameworthy. Compare this to the condition of Nuh salam with his son. Well, Nuh, peace be upon him. Be responsible for his son's disbelief and misdoing? No. Why not? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that he, we have sent Nuh unto his people. فَلَبِثَ فِيهِمْ أَلْفَ سَنَةٍ إِلَّا خَمْسِينَ عَامًا He spent 950 years, 1000 minus 50, giving them da'wah, including his wife and his uh, son. But his son did not accept faith and his wife rejected it. Free. They are free to choose. He would be blameworthy if he did not fulfill his duty. So every one of us, a father, a mother, a teacher, a school, we're all guardians, and we will be held accountable for uh, those who are under our guardianship. Did we shoulder our responsibility? Did we teach them how to pray? Did we teach them how to read Quran? Did we teach them modesty? Did we teach them how to dress up, to dress up properly and uh, to cover up their aura? Yes, 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 yes. Then, mashallah, they're good. But after they grew up, you know, something happened. One of them deviated. One of them abandoned the deen. One of them is not your responsibility. You've done your homework. You understand? Then, no bearer of a sin will bear the sin of another. وَكُلُّ نَفْسٍ بِمَا كَسَبَتْ رَهِينَ The ayah says, كُلُّ نَفْسٍ بِمَا كَسَبَتْ رَهِينَ Every soul will be mortgaged for what he or she have earned their own doing. Yes, sometimes, as we do, uh, in, in, in the case of doing good deeds, like a program like that. I'm presenting the program. Each episode costs about $2,000. Without somebody sponsoring the program, 
There is no way that I could have, uh, you know, presented this program. So for 16 years, mashallah, now or more, some people are, you know, sponsoring the programs and the, so I'm chipping in, I'm assisting, I'm cooperating, I'm presenting the program. And somebody else is assisting through sponsoring financially, airing the program. Another is supporting through sponsoring uh, the salaries of the crew uh, or the cast, the cameramen, and, and all of that. So each one of them receives a similar reward without diminishing the reward of either one of them. Whenever somebody who is watching this program and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has guided him or her, somebody started praying after they used not to pray, somebody accepted faith and Islam. We give a lot of shahada live on air. So everyone who did ta'awun, as Allah the Ummati said in Surah Al-Ma'idah, وَتَعَاوَنُوا عَلَى الْبِرِّ وَالتَّقْوَى Help one another to achieve what is righteous and what is pious, what is good. So الدَّالُّ عَلَى الْخَيْرِ لَهُ مِثْلُ أَجْرِ فَاعِلِهِ When you show people goodness, everyone who acts upon it, they will be rewarded and you shall receive a similar reward to theirs without diminishing the reward of either one of them. When somebody shows people haram, facilitates for them haram, drinking, gambling, watching porn, whatever. So he's blameworthy and every person who watches or follows his misguidance is blameworthy and the, 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 the person who took the initiative, the one who misguided others, will bear a similar sin of each one of them without diminishing the sin or the punishment for either one of them. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide all of us to what is best.